AWS Lambda lets you run code without provisioning or managing servers. You pay only for the compute time you consume, there is no charge when your code is not running. With Lambda, you can run code for virtually any type of application or backend service, all with zero administration. Just upload your code and Lambda takes care of everything required to run and scale your code with high availability. You can set up your code to automatically trigger from other AWS services or call it directly from any web or mobile app. The Lambda free tier includes 1 million free requests per month and 400,000 gigabytes to seconds of compute time per month. Let's create a Lambda function. Search for Lambda service in AWS console. Click create a function. We will create a Lambda function from scratch. Select author from scratch. Give function a name minus 3 lambda glue. You can give any name. Select python 3.6. Create a new role called s3 glue lambda role. We will give this role permissions to s3 and glue services later on. Click create function. Once the function is created you can edit the code and test it. Let's configure a simple test event. Click configure test event. Give it any name. We do not need to pass any parameter so leave the JSON file blank. Click create. Select the test event you just created and click test. You will notice it got executed successfully. Status code 200 means success. We can add print statements to see output in console. Add a print statement. Save it and test. You will see the newly added print statement in console. Under the monitoring tab you will see various metrics such as how many times the function is getting invoked and whether there was any failure etc. And also you can find the link to view CloudWatch log. You can invoke the Lambda function and see log getting generated in CloudWatch. Instead of manually calling the function we can also trigger lambda functions based on certain events. Let us configure a S3 upload event to trigger this function. Select a sample bucket. We will trigger the function when any object gets uploaded to this bucket. Now go to that bucket and upload a file. Before we upload let's open CloudWatch to view log. Now let's upload a file to the bucket. Keep everything as default. Keep refreshing CloudWatch log to see the new output. You just noticed how we can trigger a Lambda function based on a S3 upload event. Next let's see how we can invoke other services from Lambda. We have a Glue ETL job which we will try to invoke from our Lambda function. First we need to ensure the IAM role attached to Lambda has permission to invoke Glue.
Attach glue service policy to the IM roll and save. Then we need to make the required code changes. First import Boto3. Boto is the Amazon Web Services, AWS, SDK for Python, which allows Python developers to write software that makes use of Amazon services like S3, EC2, Glue. Next create a Boto client for Glue. Now using the Boto client we will invoke a job bank transformer. Save the Lambda function and trigger it by uploading a file to the bucket. You will notice the glue job has been triggered. Thank you.